Hello guys welcome back to me channel. Today I'm gonna tell you about converting your Canada visitor visa to a work permit. The initial date until which you could apply was February 28th, 2023. But this date has been extended for another two years until February 28th of 2025. There's no age limit and your work permit can be valid for as long as two years. You can also apply for permanent residence after just one year by claiming extra points for your Canadian work, experience and continued employment. Moreover, a work permit holder's spouse can receive an open work permit, allowing them to work for any employer for any job position that they choose. This public policy does not require you to hold a Canadian job offer before you come to Canada. You can come to Canada as a visitor and search for a job here by getting interviews and networking through a professional connections and then apply for a work permit based on the job offer that you receive. You also don't need to leave Canada to apply for your work permit, which is known as flag polling, but an individuals would enter the U.S. border temporarily to apply for a Canada from their work visa who have held a work permit in the last 12 months request so that work they don't have to wait for their work permit away process in order to start working for the new employer more quickly. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can convert your Canada visitor visa All to the a new work changes permit. changes that have been implemented for this public policy, a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to find an L approved job list from the official Canada government website, the other general where you can job get websites. job offers. Easy tips on making a customized CV for each job position that you apply to, the benefits of working in Canada, documents required, application fees, processing time, and how to apply as well. So do watch the video till the end. In other channels, I show people how to save their money and immigrate to new countries to my videos. without the help of any immigration consultants or agents or lawyers. You can find all the process instructions for you to plan your own through this channel now. because all the information Provide and also all the queries in the comments and on my social on Instagram angles. and Twitter. So don't forget to follow us there as well. You can even get in touch with us directly via WhatsApp on the number shared on the screen. Coming the straight to of working in Canada with the work permit, you can live and work in Canada for up to two years, which gives you ample time to gain valuable Canadian experience for your permanent residence application. After living and working in Canada for just one year, you can year apply for your permanent residence experience under the class. CC, and your family members can apply with you as well. Canada is one of the best countries in the entire world for healthcare services, providing free healthcare services to work permit holders and their immediate family members. Government subsidized healthcare means no out-of-pocket expenses drastically improving for the quality visits. of life. The quality of care is also extremely high, which can be difficult to find in other countries with free healthcare systems. If you get a work permit for Canada, your spouse or Commonwealth partner can apply for an open work permit. An open work permit will allow any them employer to work of for, their choice for any job position that they wish to apply for. There's also for no a Canadian age limit to work apply. visa. So, even if your age is high, this pathway can be an easy route towards permanent your residence for you. Knowledge of the genuine job websites that you can apply to from both within Canada and your home country as well. The most widely which have used proven job results websites over in the Canada years are Job Bank, Career Builder, Luda Job Boom, Glassdoor Monster, Simply Hired, Google for Jobs, ZIP Recruiter, Ladders and the Universal Ones, Indeed and Lincoln. You can get LMI approved jobs directly on Job Bank, which is the official Canada government job listing website. What you have to do is just go on Google and type LMA approved jobs in Canada and you'll see the official job bank web page, which lists genuine job listings from Canadian employers wanting to hire temporary foreign workers. Just click on the search job postings in the middle and now you'll see be able to see thousands of vacant positions for foreign workers like you. You can even filter the province where you would want the to left work here. and just below it is your selection of LMA approved job listings, which means these Canadian players have already reached out to ESDC and mentioned that they can't in Canada find to fill their job position, and so they're hiring foreign workers. So just take LMA approved, and you'll see the list of all LMA approved jobs along that you with have their to location to and salary as well. 
do remember to check if the employer accepts applications from those without a valid Canadian visa status. So, if you for open example, this caregiver clearly mentions that this accepts employer. applications from candidates with or without a Canadian work permit, so remember to apply to only such listings as other employers won't respond to you. Make sure that you're networking well and building your connections and references in Canada as this greatly increases your chances of getting selected fast not coming how to, to get your CV shortlisted for interview call. Are they going to the to? job website I showed you earlier? You don't Apply need to. Apply for each and every position available. You'll end up wasting a lot of time doing which this. Which won't give you any so, results as what well. what if you do? Is filter through jobs which are related. And matching your skill set and work experience. And apply to only those Secondly, ones. using the same CV for all job. Applications is a big waste of time. Instead for each job position that you're applying to. Look at the job description. And job responsibilities and qualifications needed. And add all of these keywords to your CV. Make sure that Edits you do before these. applying for each job. So that your CV includes all the possible. Keywords that are listed Doing in so the vacant job positions. Your chances of getting selected, as most recruiters and companies use computer systems as to they receive through thousands all job of applications and applications each day. So, if your CV does not include the right are keywords, listed in the job it'll details, automatically be discarded, and you would have wasted your time and for effort nothing by applying for just two or three jobs out of the ten available but using ones, the right keywords. You're still you're gonna get better CV results than if you would by applying for all jobs with a single generic CV. Next many jobs. Lister will also have the recruiters of companies HR email address put or down phone numbers job listed idea as well. of the position that you've applied for. And after you're done applying to the vacant position, wait for a day and then feel free to reach and out to ask the recruiter them for an update on the application you sent over. If you've not received the response yet, give them the job ID that you applied for and inform them to know if just your CV up with has them. been shortlisted. The people in Canada and general are very welcome and will appreciate you taking the effort and connecting with them. If possible, try to set up a meeting with them as so that well. you can communicate Skills your and job. experience in a more personal manner. Even in this if way, you're not selected for the job, they'll still link you to any other position that suits your profile better. Now let me tell you that the main changes to this policy this year, which are really beneficial for all applicants. As you can see by the official ERC news release, which was earlier, the program, supposed to be valid until February 28th this year, has been until further February extended 28, for another 2025. Two years. Moreover, visitors can apply for a work permit. While they're still inside Canada, earlier visitors had to leave Canada and apply for a work visa, then re-enter Canada. Using that work visa, flag polling was the most common used method to cross for the Canada-US border and re-enter Canada by applying this for a process work visa has now been border. scrapped. And the news release states that you now don't need to leave Canada at all. Moreover, applicants with current visitor visa status who have held a valid work permit in the past one year can get an interim work authorization that they can start working for the new employer immediately without waiting for their work permit to be processed. So that's great news for applicants and their Canadian employers as well. Know After what you happens? get selected for a particular job position, what happens next is your Canadian employee What's will give an you LMA, a PPROV or agreement, job offer, or job contract, which will basically list details like a job title, your rules and responsibilities, your salary, and all your benefits, your shift timings, overtime details, and pay, just like a professional an work contract for an employer to give you an LMI job offer. He or she needs to prove that they could not fill the vacant or position or hold with a Canadian and you citizen. are the best candidate for the job. I already demonstrated how you can get this LMI job offer in the video. Based on this work contract, you can apply for a Canadian work visa while you're still in Canada. On your visitor Again, visa, you don't have to leave the and country. And over the work visa, you can simply switch your existing tourist to visa. a work visa. So, how do you apply for a work visa using job your agreement? Canada? You can either approach a genuine immigration lawyer here in Canada who charge you a nominal fee, or you can apply on your own, which might save you some time and money. If you want to apply on your own, videos on the channel with all the requirements and step-by-step -step application instructions through application I'll guides. add these links in the description box. You have to apply.
for an employer-specific work permit, which is a closed can work apply. permit, at the same time for an open work permit, which means that they can work for any employer in Canada after coming here and getting a job, coming to your application fees and processing time. Most Canada work visas are processed in as less as 30 business days and your visa fee is 155 and the Canadian fee for an dollars. open work permit for your spouse or common law partner is 100 Canadian dollars. Remember that when you're for applying, your permanent residence later on, your dependent family members like your spouse and children can also apply so with they you. can get their permanent residence at All the right, same guys. time as you. So that was how you can convert your Canada tourist visa to work permit. For more immigration Subscribe to and this travel channel tips. now to like this video if you like the content and comment what topic you would like to hear about next. Thank you Remember so much to for subscribe. watching. For regular updates and on don't immigration, forget to follow us on Instagram as well for your application and hope you have a great day.